Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and welcome to the presentation and blessing of the newly procured PMP equipment and ceremonial turnover of donations from various stakeholders. Please all rise for the invocation to be officiated by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortiz, Director of the PMP Chaplain Service. With thankful hearts, let us bow our heads and be aware of God's loving presence. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we humble ourselves before you and proclaim your glory as we now gather for the presentation and blessing of newly procured PNP equipment and ceremonial turnover of donations from various stakeholders we thank you, Lord, for all the donations we receive and for giving us this capability enhancement logistics. Grant that what unfolds today would boost our competence to perform our sworn duties and responsibilities in the service to your people. And so, we consecrate into your mantle of divine providence the integrity of the PNP institution. We humbly pray that you continue to pour forth the abundance of your provisions to the organization. Also, we beseech you, our most merciful and compassionate God, to bestow your special blessings upon the generous stakeholders who extend their magnanimity to the PNP. Please keep them in your love and compassion along with our beloved OIC PNP, Police Lieutenant General Vicente D. Danao, Jr. We fervently pray that you grant them the grace to constantly inspire us to work confidently, always doing our best for the betterment of our service in the greater glory of your heavenly kingdom. Grant all that we ask and pray in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And now let us hear the welcome remarks of Police Brigadier General Sidney Villaflor, the Deputy Director for Logistics. To our uh, very own officer in charge of the Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente D. Danao, Jr., sir. To our uh, TDCA, Police Lieutenant General Rodel O. Sermonia, sir. Our uh, TCDS, Police uh, Lieutenant General Manuel M. Abu, sir. Of course, my boss, the Director for Logistics, Police Major General uh, Ronaldo E. Olay, sir. Other directors of the different directorial staffs, the directors of the different NSUs who are here today, to our visitors and the person of uh, Police uh, Major General Rizaldo B. Limoso, retired, the President and CEO of AAP MBAI, sir. Of course, to uh, our uh, Ambassador to Heaven, Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, to Ms. Teresita Angsi, the Vice Chairman of PNP Foundation Incorporated. Good morning, ma'am. To Mr. Ras Shabtai, the Defense Attaché, Embassy of Israel, and his companions, other senior officers, fellow officers, non uniform personnel, visitors, friends from the media, good morning to everyone. With great pride and honor, 
the Directorate for Logistics, the National, the NHQ, and Logistics Support Service Bids and Awards Committees will proudly present the newly procured equipment such as brand new vans, light transport vehicles, 9mm striker fired pistols, 5.56 basic assault rifles, 7.62 light machine guns, explosive detector dogs, auto-gated night vision devices, and all-purpose vests. This equipment were sourced from the funds of the Capability Enhancement Program, the Congress-initiated appropriation, and trust receipt amounting to 764 million. 115,073 pesos and 40 centavos. Procurement is one of the most tedious job in the Philippine National Police. The NHQ Bids and Awards Committee, the Procurement Management Committee, the Committee on Inspection and Acceptance are committed to procure adequate, modern, and dependable equipment needed by our police force. Today, we are confident that these highly standard firearms, mobility assets, and ISO equipment, which are intensively tested and evaluated, will immensely help all our PNP personnel to perform their daily operations in maintaining the peace and order, not only in our communities, but in the whole country, even in the most peculiar areas. We would like to give emphasis on the proper care and maintenance of this equipment to extend its lifespan. As you fully utilizing the vehicles, firearms, and other basic equipment, we must also prioritize in giving care and attention to its condition. Remember, we can never win wars without any logistical support. This is also an opportunity to extend our sincere appreciation and gratitude to the Armed Forces and Police Mutual Benefit Association Incorporated, the AAP MBAI, headed by its President and CEO, Police Major General Rizaldo B. Limoso, retired, and likewise the PNP Foundation Incorporated, represented by its Vice Chairman, Ms. Teresita Angsi, for their continued support through donating one unit Toyota Super Grandia van and various personal protective equipment, respectively. The AAP MBAI and the PNP Foundation are among the solid partners of the PNP in providing effective and efficient service in protecting the people and our community. We are very thankful for allotting donation fund or the Corporate Social Responsibility Fund for the provisions of the police and office equipment necessary in the poor performance of the administrative and operational functions of the different PNP units and offices. Again, to all our attendees and visitors, a pleasant good morning to everyone, and I welcome you all in the presentation and blessing of the newly procured PNP equipment and ceremonial turnover of donations from various stakeholders. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, sir. Police Brigadier General Sidney Villaflor. We'll proceed to the presentation of the newly procured PNP equipment. We would like to request Police Major General Ronaldo Olay, the Director for Logistics and Chairman of the NHQ Bids and Awards Committee. With the permission of uh, our OIC, I may I be allowed to remove my mask, sir. Thank you, sir. To our indefatigable uh, officer in charge, Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao, Jr., sir, may I respectfully present to you the newly procured PNP equipment sourced under the PNP's Capability Enhancement Programs 2015, 2018, 2019, 
2020 and 2021, Congress introduced increases in appropriation fiscal year 2021 and trust receipt 2018 with the total contract price of 764 million 115,073 pesos and 40 centavos. The National Headquarters and Logistics Support Service Bids and Awards Committee and the Philippine International Trading Center Incorporated successfully procured the following PNP equipment. Ford, the National Support Units. 16 units, brand new van. Proponent, MGM Motor Trading Incorporated. For PNP Trading Institute and Philippine National Police Academy, three units, light transport vehicle, proponent, Toyota Quezon Avenue. For PNP recruits and PNP graduates, 8,358 units, 9mm striker fired pistol, Gearson. Proponent, the joint venture of Nash Enterprise and Gearson Makina in Turkey. For PNP Mobile Forces, 8,500 units, 5.56 Basic Assault Rifle Galil. Proponent, joint venture of Espinelli and Israel Weapons Industries Limited. This is under the government to government or G2G procurement, sir. 620 units, autogated night vision device. Proponent, MKU Limited of India. For PNP Maritime Group, 34 units, 7.62 millimeter light machine gun, Negev. Proponent, Joint Venture of Spinelli and Israel Weapons Industries Limited. This is also under the government to government procurement, sir. For AOD K9 Group, 45 units, explosive detector dog. Proponent, Zemog K9 Training Center Group Incorporated. And lastly, for our police stations, 5,298 units, all purpose vest under shirt vest. Proponent, Joint Venture of Aholtec Corporation and Jianzu Zongyi Special Fiber Company Limited of China. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Police Major General Ronaldo Olai. And now, we'll have the prayer followed by the blessing of the newly procured PMP equipment. And we'd like to request the Director of the PMP Chaplain Service, Police Brigadier General Jason Ortiz. Everybody, please rise. Prayer of blessing. Let us pray. Most merciful and loving God, full of trust and confidence of your divine providence, we consecrate to you all this new equipment and we that we obtain from the abundance of your grace. Through the intercession of our patron, St. Michael the Archangel, may you sanctify and bless this capability enhancement equipment so that their use would fortify our proficiency to deliver highly capable, effective, and credible police service to your people. Let these capability assets empower our rapid response to those who seek our assistance and also provide our personal comfort and safety. In the name of our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, for the blessing. We write request the OIC PMP together with Mr. Rashab Tay, Mr. Uh, Major General Risaldo Limoso, Mr. Teresita Angsi, the PMP Command Group, the Director for Logistics, NHQBAC, the Director for Comptroller, Chairman, NHQCIA, and PM, 
PMC and members of the NHQ, CIA, and PMC to join for the blessing. We'd like to request other senior officers to please join. Star rank officers sir, are requested to join the blessing. <coughs>
we're still on the blessing, then we'd like to remind the OIC PMP together with other PMP command group and other uh, uh, Saram officers to please remain on the ground for the ceremonial turnover. After the blessing, the ceremonial turnover will be held on the ceremonial ground. After the uh, uh, blessing, we would like to request the OIC PMP together with the uh, PMP command group, sir, to proceed to the uh, uh, Toyota Grandia for the ceremonial turnover from uh, the President and Chief Executive Officer of AFP, AFP MBAI. Sir, please proceed to the uh, Toyota Grandia for the ceremonial turnover. We now proceed to the ceremonial turnover of one unit Toyota Grandia. And may we request Major General Rizaldo Limosa, sir, the President and CEO of AFP MBI, for the turnover of one unit Toyota Grandia to the Philippine National Police, represented by the officer in charge of PNP, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr. After the uh, ceremonial turnover of the Toyota Grandia, we shall have the uh, turnover of various personal protection equipment from the PNP Foundation Incorporated to be turned over by Ms. Teresita Ang C. Aside from the one unit of Toyota Grandia, the PNP will also receive audiovisual room equipment consisting of camera, SD card, tripod, portable LED light, light stand, condenser mic with stand, audio interface, headphones, and powered speaker. All coming from the AFP Mutual Benefit Association Incorporated. We now proceed to the ceremonial turnover of various personal protection equipment from Ms. Teresita Angsi, Vice Chairman, PNP Foundation Incorporated. And on behalf of the PNP to receive the donations is Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., the officer in charge of the Philippine National Police. Donations are as follows, 1,500 boxes of surgical masks, 10,000 pieces of K95 face masks, 1,500 boxes of surgical gloves, 2,000 pieces of coverall, 500 gallons of alcohol, and 2,400 boxes of vitamin C. Thank you very much, PNP Foundation Incorporated, for your generous donations. And now for our uh, photo opportunity, so um, I'd like to request the uh, OIC PMP together with the PMP Command Group, another distinguished guest for a photo opportunity.
May we request our esteemed guests, Sir Mal, to please join our OIC PNP and PNP Command Group for the photo opportunity. We're having our photo opportunity with the OIC PNP together with the PNP Command Group. Mr. Raz Shabke, Defense Attaché, Embassy of Israel, Major General Rizaldo Limozo, President and the CEO of AFP MBAI, and Mr. Sita Angsi, the Vice Chairman of the PMP Foundation Incorporated. Then after the photo ops, we would like to request everyone to please go up to this stage for the continuation of our activity. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please uh, take your respective seats for the continuation of our program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us focus our attention to an exhibition by the Explosive Detection Dogs. And we'd like to request Police Captain Rene Satuito, Chief K-9 Aviation Security AOD and K-9 Unit. Ang atin pong first performer for today is EDD Cheche. A two-year-old female Labrador Retriever with EDD handler, Police Strap Sergeant Eduardo Labrillazo. The K-9 team is simulating paneling and sweeping operations in the cargo and baggage build-up area in the airport. Nakita po natin, nag-indicate yung aso. And another baggage po, nag-indicate po siya. Ibig sabihin po, ang ating mga uh, unidentified and left behind baggage are treated with, uh, as uh, IED, possible uh, IED. Meron po siyang IED. Our next performer is EDD Jara, a two-year-old female Belgian Malinois with EDD handler, Police Master Sergeant Joela Lagarde. The K-9 team is also simulating the paneling and sweeping operations on left behind baggage at the airport. So lahat po ng bagay sa airport na mga naiwan ng ating passenger, hindi po siya basta, basta ginagalaw, uh, kinokordon po siya agad at uh, Tinatawag po ang ating K-9 team. Ayan po, nag-indicate po ang ating EDD handler at uh, uh, EDD at magre-reward po ang ating handler.
Hindi pa po sila tapos mag-search. So, tinitinan pa rin nila kung clear na po ang lahat. Again, nag-indicate po ang ating EDD. Magre-reward po ulit ang ating EDD handler. Yan po ang laman, detonating cord. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. That concludes the uh, exhibition of the explosive detection dogs. As we continue, ladies and gentlemen. And now let us hear the message of Mr. Raz Shalte, Defense Attaché Embassy of Israel. A warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. I take my uh, mouth only for the for the few words. <clears throat> uh, first, before the official words that I wrote, I want to say to all that I'm I can I can turn it a little bit so I can see everybody. More logic. Ah, better. Okay. Uh, I'm very excited to be here and to present represent my country. Uh, the most the most uh, value thing is that uh, we are doing our relation by a government to government uh, agreements and uh, it's emphasized the importance of the Philippines to, to the state of Israel and that's why I am very proud to stand here as the official representative, the first one actually, that was sent and was appointed to, to the Philippines and uh, Nothing is uh, better to express the, the relationship uh, from this kind of uh, ceremonies and the engagement between, between the State of Israel and uh, the PNP. Isang napakagandang umaga po sa ating lahat, lalo na sa ating officer in charge ng Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General, Vincent Danao Jr., mahal na maga opisyales at maga bisita magandang umaga po. Isang malaking karangalan po na makadalaw nitong na pakiimportanting kaganapan na yong. This proves that Israel and the Philippines continue to develop a deeper relation, relationship in many aspects, especially in the field of defense and security. By the name of the State of Israel, through the Israeli Ministry of Defense, we are honored to be a part of your achievements and we are glad to extend our resources to our best ally country. I am hoping that this procurement can help to boost PNP morale gives protection to all Filipinos and can bring more determination to do your obligations and responsibilities efficiently and effectively. Maraming salamat at naway gabayan tayo ng Panginoon tungo sa pagkamit na nang tagumpay Nang Bawat Bansa. Maraming maraming salamat. Mabuhay. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo, Mr. Raz Shalte, Defense Attaché, Embassy of Israel. Thank you very much, sir. We will now hear the message of Major General Rizaldo Limoso, the President and Chief Executive Officer of AFP MBI. A warm applause, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, allow me to uh, greet my accomplished achiever underclassmen, 
of course, let me start with uh, our uh, Director for Chaplain Service, uh, Police Brigadier General uh, Ortizo. I would like also to acknowledge uh, the Director for Logistics, uh, Police Major General Ronaldo E. Olay. Of course, uh, the TCDS Ho Company, Police Lieutenant General Manuel M. Abu. Our TDCA, uh, uh, Alpha Company, Police Lieutenant General Rodel O. Sermonia. And of course, Alpha Company, Grand Hawk Company, OIC of the Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente D. Danao Jr. Una una, nagpapasalamat ako for inviting us here and it's a pleasure to uh, be here always to donate uh, equipment uh, needed by the Philippine National Police. Well, APM by started in the simple concept of Filipino, yung tinatawag natin malasakit. We started as a small company, uh, nagsimula kami sa tinatawag natin abuluyan. When uh, your comrade is sick or probably in distress, Normally, Filipinos give something so that we provide something for the uh, comrade who are in, uh, in trouble. And now, APM by grew to what is right now a multi-billion corporation whose members are still the men in uniform. At ngayon, uh, we still continue that concept of that selfless concept of giving something to the members. In fact, uh, our presence was felt by all men in uniform during the height of the pandemic. We make sure that we give assistance to those who are afflicted with uh, COVID virus. We also make sure that we give equipment and uh, medical uh, equipment to make sure that our hospitals is capacitated to cure and uh, take care of our men in uniform. So in 2020, during the height of pandemic, we made sure that we, uh, several equipment are donated to the uh, other units, AEP, PNP, and other units, members of the APM by. This year, the concept of uh, malasakit, abuluyan, and selflessness continues. Every year, we provide donation to the different units, different members, including the Philippine National Police. Uh, to provide equipment that hindi kaya ibigay ng ating national government because of some budget restrictions. So, as the present CEO of APM Bay, I would like to, uh, in behalf of our Chief of Staff, the Chairman, uh, Sir Andy Sintino, who is the Chairman of the APM Bay, and the rest of the Board of Trustees, I would like to affirm and uh, continue to uh, tell you that APM Bay is... Uh, uh, confirming our uh, objective and our uh, obligation and our role to providing services to our members. And also, extend our gratitude for continuing supporting APM by in our efforts, in our uh, uh, patronizing our products and our services. So, maraming maraming salamat. But in parting, I'm reminded of what famous statesman Winston Churchill had said. We make a living by what we get, but we make life by what we give. With that, I wish everyone a blessed day ahead of us, and may, li may our lives go forth, knowing that spending it day by day, being selfless and giving, will truly nourish our hearts, mind, and spirit. Maraming salamat po sa ating lahat, at mabuhay po ang Philippine National Police. Thank you very much, sir. Major General Rizaldo Limoso, President and CEO of AFP MBI. Kindly be seated. We will now hear the message of the Vice Chairman of PNP Foundation Incorporated, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Teresita Ang Si. Um, to our OIC, uh, Chief uh, PNP Danao, and to our other uh, officers of the command group, General Sermonia, General Abu, General Olay, and our chaplain, General Ortizo. Uh, many of you have worked with us uh, through the years. 
The PMP Foundation started in 1999, and since 2000, every quarter we have been giving um, much needed equipment to the PMP Foundation so that you can do your job of helping us keeping peace and order more effectively and efficiently. The PPE donation is the fourth tranche. We started April 2020 during the start of the pandemic, continued through the surge, and this I hope will be the last because we will be seeing the end of the pandemic. Um, this is of course on top of the equipment donation. Just last April, I was here with General uh, Senator Ping Lakson as guest of your flag ceremony when we turned over the mountain bikes, the motorbikes, and many other equipment to your regions in Mindanao and the Cordilleras especially. Um, we try our best to give to units outside Metro Manila, but of course the headquarters and the anti-kidnapping group is always our uh, um, specific target. When they ask us for help, we always are ready to give them because as you know, uh, a lot of the donors and a lot of the corporations were when uh, General Ping Lakson started the PNP Foundation after he retired uh, from the PNP in 1999. Uh, most of the friends and people that we helped donated the capital fund for the PNP Foundation so that we can continuously give help to the PNP. Kasi ang pagtulong naman namin sa inyo ay sa amin din naman bumabalik dahil nagagawa ninyo ng mas maayos ang inyong trabaho. So we commit uh, to continue these efforts as long as the PNP Foundation exists. Our capital fund remained intact and many donors continue to give support to the PNP Foundation knowing that um, the money is put into good use to help the PNP. And in exchange, of course, we expect and we are confident that the PNP, all the men and women that make up the uh, PNP force, will continue the transformation program and continue to serve our people well. Maraming salamat sa inyong walang sawang pagtulong sa amin at nangangako kami na patuloy din namin kayong tutulungan. Marami pong salamat. Thank you very much, ma'am. And now, let us hear the message. The officer in charge, Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao, Jr. Please take your seats. For anything else, please uh, allow me to greet our distinguished guests inside this hall, this stage. First and foremost, the uh, defense attaché from the embassy, embassy of Israel, Mr. Raz Shabtai. Palapakan naman po natin. Of course, uh, our uh, president and CEO of uh, AFP MBI, uh, Major General Rizaldo B. Limoso, sir. Together with his staff. Yeah. At siyempre, ang uh, walang sawang uh, tumutulong sa F Philippine National Police, the Vice Chairman of the PNP Foundation Incorporated, uh, Ma'am Teresita Angsi, palakpakan naman po natin. Of course, the uh, members of uh, the team PNP, our uh, command group, director of the staff, officers and men, distinguished guests, uh, friends from the media. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Ayan. Uh, first and foremost, siguro I would like to commend and uh, congratulate the members of the Beats and Awards Committee no? for lalong-lalo uh, na led by our uh, DL, Police Major General Olay. Palakpakan naman po natin. Ayan, together with the team no? of the committee who has been very, very resilient and very, very patient in uh, despite of the problems that we're having. Uh, alam nyo, sa tagal kasi ng panahon dahil sa sobrang uh, hirap 
na ibinigay ng pandemic, eh, hindi natin na-procure kaagad. But nonetheless, the Bids and Awards Committee were able to procure equipments, vehicles, armaments, uh, firearms that are very, very beneficial to our Philippine National Police. And uh, I know that uh, our uh, DL, no, yung uh, chairman ng Bids and Awards Committee, has been very, very uh, proper during the conduct of the procurement phase. No? And uh, I know, Bok, that uh, you have done and given your best, especially so that these equipments were bought. I was looking at the prices a while ago. Sabi ko, mukhang properly nga talaga. Wala yata ang patong kahit singko. Okay, so palapakan naman natin yung ating uh, back. No? So, gone were the days, yung mga kwentong ganon. No? Alam nyo, I still remember ito. You put it on record. When... Uh, the history of the past has been buried. Buying equipments na hindi naman nagagamit at madaling, alam nyo yung history ng Mahindra. Di ba? Oh, gun were the days. Yung mga ganyang klaseng pambibili ng gamit. So let us uh, bury that kind of procurement wherein the equipments that were bought before were not even used for more than three years. And uh, we were there. And we are the recipient of those uh, mga bulok na gamit. Okay? Eh, sana lang eh, sumakaliwa yung mga buhay ninyo dyan. Kung sino man yung mga nag-procure ng panahon na yan. Okay? So I know that uh, with the procurement of uh, back that we have now, I know that what they bought is for the best interest of the Philippine National Police. Palakpakan natin ulit yung ating back. And uh, of course, no. Uh, let us not forget the effort for those who facilitate the uh, G2G, government-to-government -government procurement that uh, gave advantage to our Philippine National Police. No, uh, si Mr. Ras Sabtay. Uh, hopefully, sir, you won't. Uh, wag po kayo magsasawa. I know that you know, you understand Tagalog, huh? so a little. Oh, ibig sabihin, you have so many girlfriends. <laughs> uh, it's hard to learn a language from other country if you don't have girlfriend. Uh, to your wife, uh, just don't listen, ma'am. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I know, sir, that uh, with those procurements, we're able to really uh, take advantage of the prices, which is more beneficial to the Philippine National Police. So... I think it was also facilitated by Mr. Spinelli. Ano? So, palak I, 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 I've seen him a while ago. Okay. So, palakpakan po natin si Mr. Shabtay. Ayan. Okay. At syempre, sabi ni uh, DCA kanina, uh, Sir, bakit iisa yung binigay ng A AFP MBI? <laughs> Kulang pa daw, sir, ng apat. <laughs> OIC, DCA, DCO. Ah, tatlo na lang, sir. Pwede na. Ayan. Para kompleto na po. Ayan. Uh, Bok, naririnig naman. I, I, I heard uh, AFP MBA ay uh, manager a while ago telling us to immediately submit the request. O, Bok. Sir, consider it done. Nandyan na po yung request sa tabi nyo. Ayan. Palapakan naman natin yung AFP MBA. Ay. Ayan. Okay. Alam nyo, hindi, hindi pa sir ako nagre-request. Nagbibigay na kayo. Napaka-snappy. Ayan, lalo na pag madagdagan. Ayan. At siyempre, huwag natin kalilimutan si uh, Ma'am Teresita. Okay? Who has been very, very helpful for the Philippine National Police. Uh, our first engagement, Ma'am, officially as an officer when I became uh, the district director po of MPD. Ayan, malaki din po yung naitulong ninyo dyan. And uh, I know that the PNP Foundation has been giving a lot of uh, equipments, vehicles, and especially during the time of pandemic. Uh, sa lahat po ng ating benevolent stakeholders, sir, uh, we would like to uh, express on behalf of the 225,000 strong men and women of the Philippine National Police. We would like to thank uh, especially our stakeholders for those benevolent acts 
of giving us equipment which we know will be very, very helpful to our Philippine National Police. So, sana po, sir and ma'am, uh, wag po kayong magsasawa sa pagbibigay po ng mga kagamitan para po sa ating PNP. And uh, on the other hand, uh, may I just request also, and I'm addressing this to all units, no? to all officers and men who will be the recipients of these vehicles, of these equipments, of these armaments, lalong-lalo na yung mga baril. Okay? Kung makikita ninyo, napakagagandang baril. Sa totoo lang, how we wish that when we were at the younger age, eh ganito yung hawak namin ni Cadet Rodel. Unfortunately, yung hawak namin noong una, pag ipinutok mo, akala mo, double tap. Di ba? Yun yung mga equipment na naabutan namin noong una eh. Pag pinutok mo sa target board, target board, akala mo naka-double tap ka. Kasi bakit ka mo? Eh, ang laki ng butas. Ha? You know why? Oh, kasi pabalabag yung bala. Oh, yun yung mga naabutan namin equipment noong una. Kaya napakasiswerte ng ating young generation. Okay? For having these equipments, these firearms, no, brand new. Sana lang itong mga nigib na to, Pagdating namin ng 10 years after, pagbibisita kami ni Cadet Rodel sa mga different stations, different units. Eh, nandyan pa. Hindi sa kalaban, ha? Nandyan pa rin. Buo. Okay? So, I am requesting the members of the PNP, no? Especially for those who will be receiving the vehicles, please alagaan nyo naman. Uh, alam nyo, ang sikreto lang naman ng uh, vehicles natin, napakasimple. Constant change oil. Parang tayo lang, di ba? You have to change oil from time to time. Okay? Di ba? Kasi kung hindi ka mag-change oil, yung tuhod mo, magkakaroon yan ng arthritis. Mayarapan ka ng tumakbo, mayarapan kang lumakad. So, ganun din sa vehicle. We need to have a constant maintenance for that matter. Okay? Eh, ito, napakasimple lang naman yung mga vehicles na yan. Dapat itong mga vehicles natin na na-procure should last man lang, minimum of five years. No? By the time na magkaroon ng bagong administration uli at magbibigay ng panibagong CEP for the PNP, eh, nandiyan pa rin yung mga equipments natin. Okay? So, ganun lang. Uh, sa mga officers, lalong-lalo na yung gagamit. No? Please have the heart of maintaining these vehicles these equipments para naman it will build to last it was built to last and it will be uh, protecting not only the lives of our PNP but the lives of the Filipinos as well okay so sa lahat no sa ating back sa ating uh, kay Mr. Shabtay FMBI at lahat po ng uh, nagbibigay tulong o patuloy na nagbibigay ng ayuda sa Philippine National Police. Ang aking saludo sa inyo, sir, ma'am, sirs, for uh, those benevolent acts. At syempre, inaasahan ko ng ating kapulisan will always join me, okay, na maging mukha po tayo ng isang huwaran na pulis. Isang pulis na laging nagbibigay ng serbisyong tama And when I say servisyong tama, isang pulis na may takot sa Diyos, isang pulis na tapat sa kanyang panunungkulan, isang pulis na may tapang sa mga lumalabag sa batas, at isang pulis na may malasakit sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino. Mabuhay ang Philippine National Police, mabuhay ang sambayan ng Pilipino. Thank you very much, sir. Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., Officer in Charge, Philippine National Police. Please be seated. We will now proceed to the presentation of plaque of appreciation and token to our distinguished guest. And to, proceed, to present the plaque of appreciation and token is the Officer in Charge, Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., and he will be assisted by the PNP Command Group, the Director for Controllership, and the Director for Logistics.
May we request the presenters to please rise and may we request Mr. Raz Shabtai to rise. Citation reads for his invaluable support in the successful government-to-government -government or G2G -G procurement of various firearms necessary in the attainment of the PNP's vision, mission, and functions. Plaque of appreciation is presented to Mr. Raz Shabtai, Israel Defense Attaché to the Philippines. A token is also presented to our distinguished guest. To Mr. Shabtaser, thank you very much. Please be seated. May we request Major General Rizaldo Limosa, sir, to please rise. For its invaluable support extended to the Philippine National Police through its donation of one Toyota High A Super Grandia intended for administrative functions and operations, similar plaque is presented to Armed Forces and Police Mutual Benefit Association Incorporated, received by Major General Limoso, President and CEO of PMBI, and a token is also presented. To Major General Limoso, sir, thank you very much. Kindly be seated. And may we request Ms. Teresita Ang Sima to please rise. Citation reads, for its invaluable support extended to the PNP by donating various personal protective equipment amounting 1 million pesos, contributing immensely in protecting the health of PNP personnel, rendering their services to the community. Similar plaque is presented to PNP Foundation Incorporated, presented to Ms. Teresita Ang Si, Vice Chairman of PNP Foundation Incorporated. And the Director for Logistics, Police Major General Ronaldo Oloy would also like to present a token to the officer in charge, Philippine National Police, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Denao Jr. Thank you very much, sir. Once again, we'd like to thank our uh, uh, distinguished guest, Mr. Raz Sabday, Defense Attaché Embassy to Israel of Israel. Major General Rizaldo Limonzo, President and CEO of AFP MBAI. Mr. Sita Angsi, Vice Chairman and Foundation Incorporated. To the OIC PNP, Police Lieutenant General Vicente Danao Jr., PNP Command Group. And to all PNP officers, to our distinguished guests, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at dyan po nagtatapos ang ating palatuntunan ngayong umaga. Mabuhay ang sambayan ng Pilipino, mabuhay ang pambansang pulisya ng Pilipinas. Magandang umaga pong muli sa inyong lahat.